Hey guys, how's it going? Down in the basement today, um, working on the 338 Ackley. So this is my ELR gun from 2019. I love this gun, it did great. I got second place in the Kydex tournament in ELR uh, last year in Canada. Um, the gun just shoots flat out. The only thing I didn't like about it was I had a dish rag attached to the top of my uh, cheek piece just so I could see down the center of my scope because this cheek riser would not go up high enough. So, I'm not doing that this year. So, so what I did is I took it all apart. Um, here's the cheek piece here. And usually there's a piece of foam that goes on it. You can just peel that back with your thumb. It comes right off. And Masterpiece Arms sells those on their website for $9.99. I bought two of them in this case, um, which I would recommend. So for 20 bucks, I got new uh, cheek pads. So anyways, um, this piece here sits underneath your cheek, cheek rest. All right, and then two screws go through these two holes here, and they go into your post. So this is what I made today. I made a one, no, excuse me, a half inch spacer. Um, so I get an extra uh, elevation out of it. Um, basically, all I did was take some flat stock aluminum that I got at the house. I put in the bandsaw, and I cut the rough shape of this. Then I super glued this to the top. Then I took a router, an actual router and a router bit with the uh, ball bearing on the end and it's the same uh, diameter as the cutting bit. So I ran the ball bearing along the edge of this black piece here and it gave me a perfect uh, contour for this uh, spacer that I just made. So it was still glued together and then I put it in my mill and or you could use a drill press and then I found bits that would match up these and I just ran the bits down through. Then you have to drill a um, hole here for your uh, compression pin. So the only hard part was these posts. These posts like I said are pressed in and you really have to have um, the, the tolerance on that just slightly, the hole slightly smaller than the um, diameter of the shaft. I mean slightly, within a couple thou. Um, so, I end up, uh, it was hard to find a bit. And I got the closest one. I ended up modifying these posts. I got a small mini lathe and I ended up putting those in the lathe and just, just taking a skim cut right off and they pressed in pretty nicely. So then um, I did lube these up too, so that kind of helps. Then you just drop it right back in. Um, let's see how it works. I did notice I did get a little binding and maybe my holes weren't uh, as precise as this piece here. Um, but if you just, you know, press on it when you're turning this down, no binding and, and lubing them up did help too. So it wasn't like a dry fit, but yeah, I'm almost running all the way back down now. So anyways, um, then this I'm going to pin on here. I just didn't do it yet because I want to make this video first to uh, show you how I did this. So I'm going to pin this on, uh, with some compression pins. And then this, I went to Lowe's. See, here's the original screws here. They're not actually that long. And then I went to Lowe's, got the same thread, same head. Um, it's like these are Phillips. These ones are Allen, Allen bit. Um, so yeah, I got ones that are half inch longer um, to make sure I could uh, make it through that spacer. And which they do, just barely. So anyways, then that will go back on. Oh, I thought I had a screwdriver on here. Anyways, you screw that back on. Now you got an ha extra half inch. And it does before, um, it could not, when I went to go fold it, because it's a folding chassis, it wouldn't even come close to this uh, knob on my uh, IV adjustable base. Now it goes well past it. So once I start tilting this thing forward and exceeding uh, over 2,000 yards, 
actually 2300 yards is when I start to use it. Um, I'll have plenty of adjustment in my cheek piece to get me a nice clear uh, line of sight through that scope and that's what I need. I struggled with it when I was in Canada um, shooting at 2.1 kilometers so just over 2300 yards. Uh, I had to use my IV adjustable base and uh, it was the first time I ever used it because I never shot the gunner past 2,000 yards. Um, and I found myself struggling because this was maxed out and my dish rag I had zip tied on there still wasn't enough. So now I should be good. But hopefully this helps you. Let me know if you got any questions.